Hello, my dear students, I am back as promised. My name is Ms. Hadiza McKenna Ababio and I am so happy to be here again. Today we are going to continue with our lesson on unit. Today's lesson is on derived quantities and their units. Let us explain what derived quantities are. Derived quantities are combinations of two or more basic quantities. This means that when they are measured, they include measurements of basic quantities. Please note this well. I want you to know that derived quantities are calculated by either multiplying and or dividing basic quantities. Please don't forget that it can be either multiplying, dividing or a combination of both. Let us look at some examples. Area is measured in meter squared. Therefore, the unit of area is meter squared. Look at the unit closely. This means that area is a combination of length and length. In your mathematics class, you may call these lengths, base, height, or width. Notice that the combination here is a multiplication of length. Let, let us look at another example. Speed is measured in meter per second. Look at the unit closely. This means that speed is a combination of length and time. This length is also called distance. Notice that the combination here is a division of length by time. Now let us look at a final example. Force is measured in kilograms meter per second squared or newtons. Please note that the unit newton is hard to be used to determine the combination of base unit. This is because units like newtons are special units that were established based on the names of scientists. Therefore, the unit kilograms meter per second squared is best used when describing the base units that are involved in calculating force. Notice that this combination involves both a multiplication and a division. Let us look at some other derived quantities. The first one that we are looking at is velocity. Velocity is measured in meters per second. This is a division combination of length and time. The other derived quantity is volume. This is a multiplication combination of length. Density is another quantity, it is a division combination of mass and length. Now look at work, it is represented by joules. This unit cannot be used to tell the exact base unit combination. This is because the joule is also a special unit given based on the name of a scientist. Pressure is measured in Pascal. It is another example with a special unit that cannot be used to indicate the base unit combination. Please note that these quantities do have other or alternate units that give details about the base unit combinations. Let us look at work and pressure at little closer. Work is measured in joule. One joule is equivalent to one newton meter. One newton meter is equivalent to one kilogram meter squared per second squared. Which of these units do you think best represents the base units used to calculate work? Absolutely, kilogram meter squared per second squared gives more information about the base units involved. Pressure is measured in Pascal. One Pascal is equivalent to one Newton per meter squared. One Newton per meter squared is equivalent to one kilogram per meter per second squared. Which of these units do you think best represents the base units used to calculate pressure? Absolutely, kilogram per meter per second squared gives more information about the base units involved. My dear students, I want to tell you that I appreciate you watching. Please remember that today is the best day to start anything that you were delaying. Please also remember to share, like, comment and subscribe. Please take care of yourself.